Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Yakuza 0. So, last time, I finally finished the climax battles. Holy shit. Oh yeah, it's that they're finally done. No more. And I think that's about the height of difficulty in this game. Unless you count the Amons, which I'm not even going to touch that yet. But yeah, basically, we're here today to finally start the super duper uh, cl cleanup. We're going into premium adventure, which is basically you go back into the game after you beat the final boss. It's kind of like in a weird state like that uh in premium adventure uh yeah what what that said and i'm pretty sure if i go to this save point oh yeah i can also change the time which is pretty cool change outfit hell yeah let's see here. Ooh. they got they got these cool ones Outfit switching. Very cool. So, I'm not sure what to start with yet. I haven't looked at anything. Haven't seen what I've already done. So, I'm just in here, and I'm gonna see what there is to do. And first, I guess I'll max out my styles. Kinda weird how... We finished the whole game without doing this, but I guess if we did, it would have made the final fights even easier. Because they were, they were very easy to begin with. Yeah, after this, don't know what to do. So I guess I'll just have to look at the completion list and see where there's gaps. I'm not touching Mahjong yet. I'm just not. That that can wait. And here we go. That is now all of Kiryu's regular styles done. Good. And I think we can get this, but I'll see. All right, completion list. 82 35 percent let's start looking through this we have to dine at places and finish menus right that is something we have to do but mostly that's just because a lot of places have drinks that you can't drink all of them all at once so that's gonna take a bit okay after that, gotta see all the videos. That's something. All right. I'm pretty sure Majima still has defeat certain number of enemies and styles, so that's something. The Coliseum. Uh... We do just have to fight Mr. Shakedown more times. Okay. Items, yeah. The businesses are completely done. And sub-stories are completely done, except for a few of Majima's friends. And then we have minigames. And we have a lot of, a lot of minigames. Catfights, all the arcades. I haven't caught all the catcher prizes yet. I don't even remember which ones I have gotten. Then we got all the gambling. All of the gambling. We have to win money and darts. All of... Pool. Um, split games. Okay. Got Shogi. Um, uh, fishing. And... Karaoke's done. Okay. Uh, I guess let me also switch to Majima, see what he has.
But it's weird how some stuff is shared between them and then others aren't. What is the parka? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I've never seen that one. I'm pretty sure new hire is the... Yeah, look at that. That looks... That looks really weird. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Thug hasn't even broke a hundred yet. And neither has Mad Dog. Alright, so I need to do Thug, Mad Dog, and Slugger. And all those. Right. The partners. But those are those are connected to friendships, which he still has to do. Just those two though. Alright. I think I think these are the most logical next things to do. So let's go do that. We have the bartender at Stigil. And then the girl at the arcade. Which to do first, though? I guess Digil's right there, so let's go. Majima in white is so weird. I cannot get used to this. And I, I guess I should just be getting into a bunch of fights. So, the bar, we just gotta keep ordering stuff, and eventually we make friends with the bartender. So at least this will... two birds with one stone, so that we can also order all the stuff. Okay. That is that is most definitely the downside with having to get drinks. All right. I'm just going to be back when I am not drunk no more. So, actually, in the in that period of time, see who has shown up? Let's go. In a while since I've fought an actual Mr. Shakedown. Let's see how this goes. Let's 
Strategy is still the same, though. Oh. I don't think you can do that heat action on Shakedown, because he doesn't, like, guard normally. He does, but not normally. I'm not taking any chances, I'm just gonna, there we go.
All right. It is in the bag. When you first start the game, shakedowns really are quite scary. But when you really get down to it, they're kind of nothing. Shakedown's got backstories. It don't matter, though. It really don't matter. Alright. Back when I'm sober. Yeah, so, uh... So I got sober, and then... Literally, immediately after... This fucker shows up. Come on, then. Let's, let's get another one. Let's get it going. Each Kiryu and Majima have to defeat 10 shakedowns. You won't notice in the in the list, but that is for both of them. It's not just cumulative. So in actuality, you have to beat 20 shakedowns. That shit. Why does that do so much? I pressed the button. I pressed the fucking button. God damn it. Alright, give me the habu. Boom. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Why can't I grab the damn bike? Oh, 
I also want to know why I'm only limited to this side of the road. Why can't I go to the other side? That doesn't make any sense. No, 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 please, please, please. Oh, God, fucking damn it. Oh, I think I had a sacrifice stone. <sighs> yeah, you fucking. Yeah. Press the button a frame too late and it just doesn't go out. Okay, there we go. Oh, he was my hundredth enemy in Thug. Nice. Oh, and I guess I should mention, I also did a hundred Mad Dogs while off camera. Oh yeah, his whole thing is that he's bald. And that he wants to get hair. That's his whole backstory. Okay, now that that's done, let's actually go to the bar. The whole thing I wanted to do this episode. skip through their whole dialogue. I think it was like, it's nice to have a customer so interested in my facts. And I think he just gave us a free one. It's a good whiskey. It's 18 year old Yamazaki, aged in sherry casks. Sherry casks, eh? That sounds pretty tas tasty. Tasty? What the hell am I saying? There are casks that were first used for aging sherry. The wood soaks up some of it in the process. Then they're used to age whiskey. It becomes infused with a subtle sherry aroma and takes on a unique tinge. I think it sounds so enticing. I bet even someone who doesn't normally drink whiskey would be tempted. <laughs> bet accepted. That means you'll have to bring your friends here to test your theory. So the free drink was just a clever way to make me bring in more customers, huh? You're quite perceptive. Oh, thanks for the Yamazaki and the sherry cast trivia. I'll be back sometime to learn some more. My pleasure. And it is quite important that we remember these ones. The ones where it's like, not about the drink you just ordered. Those are the trivias you wanted to remember. Alright, back in. And now he knows our name. When I see a customer really enjoying a drink, I can't help but offer them more to keep the fun going. And you offer them the most expensive drinks you got, I bet. That's a trick I use a lot. <laughs> you know all my tricks, but it's on the house today. If you find something you like, you can order it next time. You're offering me a free tasting session? 
I ain't gonna say no to that. In that case, let me pour you something special. Try this one. This one's strong, huh? Mmm, delicious. Where's it from? It's a scotch whiskey. Valentine's 17 years old. It's held in high esteem worldwide. Must be pretty special. It's a blend of more than 40 different single malts from all over Scotland, matured for 17 years. Guess that explains the complex taste. Valentine's 17 years old, huh? The more you know, the more you marvel at all the work that goes into making this stuff. I'm looking forward to our next lesson. Of course. Only downside is that it kicks you out, so then you have to walk back in. Now, can I squeeze in another one, or am I too drunk? Oh, nice. Okay, and now it's all right. But thankfully, I've stocked up on these. These are how you become not drunk. The legendary drinker of Ryu Q. You just down some of those, not drunk no more. And then you can get drink drunk all over again. Alright, this will actually be the last new drink, so then I have to order old ones. I'm very sorry, Majima-sama, but may I ask a favor? What's up? I just got a call from my supplier. They finally have a liquor I've been trying to get for ages, but I need to go now and get it in person. Uh, you wanna close up early? No problem, I'll get going. Yeah. No, that's not it. I was hoping you might agree to mind the bar until I get back. You want me to tend your bar? Why do I gotta do that? I won't take long. Besides, when I'm back, we can open one of the bottles of the new liquor and have a little private tasting session, just the two of us. Well, that changes things, don't it? Where do I sign? I imagine a connoisseur like you won't have any trouble explaining the drinks we serve here to any customers who might come in. I ain't so sure about that. Well, I do owe him for the free booze. It's just for a little while, I guess I can do it. Fine, I'll do it. I'm looking forward to his taste of that new stuff you're getting, though. <laughs> of course. Thank you very much. Okay, you go get the stuff, and I'll take care of your bar here. I'll be right back, then. Mm. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Maybe no one will show up until he gets back. Let's get a drink. Just my luck. Someone's here already. Even in. Uh, welcome. That's not the usual bartender. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. So where's the usual bartender? He, um, had to step out on urgent business. That's too bad. He's got encyclopedic knowledge of liquors from all around the world. He's really looking forward to his commentary. You're into that stuff, huh? Yeah, but I'm no expert. This bar's got an impressive whiskey collection, though. That's why I like it. I see. In that case, what kind of whiskey can I pour you? We'll start with the domestics, I think. Japanese whiskey, huh? Yamazaki's a good choice. What were those casks they use again? It was... Sherry. When it comes to Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki's an excellent choice. Their secret lies in the casks they use. Really? Casks? There's a subtle sweetness underneath the bitter taste of the whiskey, ain't there? It comes from the casks. Who tell? Yamazaki whiskey matures in casks previously used to make sherry. That's why the whiskey takes on some of the flavor and aroma. Well, you really know your stuff. Alright, they're eating this up. Can I get you another round of drinks? Let's try something else this time. Can you recommend something? Maybe a scotch? Valentine's. Beef eater. Mmm. Beefy. Alright, we, we got this. We, we got this. 
Guess we got no choice but to come again soon. I'm looking forward to it. I'm loving the drinks here. I want to try more. Yeah, me too. Let me pick something for you this time. You enjoyed the Yamazaki, right? I think I know what you'd like. Bartender, you have Glenn Fittich, don't you? Glenn Fittich? Ah, yeah. An excellent choice. What's it like? Don't ask me. Let me think. It's got something in common with Yamazaki and its sherry aroma. Shit, I think Glenn Fittich was the first one that was so long ago. Fruity? Fingers crossed. I managed to wing it somehow. Thanks. It's time for us to get going. I think I might have had a little too much. Hope you had a good time. Please come again. Man, I barely got through that. Bartending ain't exactly a walk in the park. Hey, you're back. <laughs> Thank you for minding the bar. I got the liquor. That's good. I bumped into two customers who were just leaving the bar. Seems you did an excellent job. Please, take this. You earned it. French wallet. Lame ass reward. Promise you a taste of my newest edition, so let's have a drink. This is Corvassier XO, a French cognac which won a prestigious award and international contest in 86. Yeah, I can see why. Thanks to you, I can finally serve it at my bar. Mm-hmm. This little taste that'll have him coming back for more. Hi. Thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome to give Barting another try any time you like. No way, no thanks. I'm happy just being a customer. <laughs> that's a shame. And that's the barkeep. But of course, a little tiny bit more. Gotta walk in again. And we talk to him again. And now we're partnered with it. And shops in the moon area. And then we talk to him one more time. And we can order the new drink. Quavossier. And then the menu is done. A nice three in a row. Alright, and I think with that, I'll end it there. Let's have a n nice little thing to cap these off. Let's see how much the list has gone up. 83.69. I'll remember what it was at the start, but I'm pretty sure that's that's higher. We got three more done. Gotta go bit by bit. But there you go. Alright. I've been player one. And I'll see you next time. When we go arcading. Bye bye.